Hello and welcome to another video. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is looking at a way that you can set up your pilot so that you can set up your TV show for the rest of your first season and the rest of the series as a whole. Now, this is not the only way that you can do a TV pilot. Um, this is usually more so, I guess, for a series, um, maybe less for episodic, but it can work both ways. Um, and not every TV pilot has to work this way, but this is a version that you can use um, if you have a story that works in this kind of format. Okay, so essentially what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be looking at this through a story circle again. If you've been watching this channel, wow, look at that terrible circle. All right, let me try that again. A little better, okay. Um, if you've been watching this channel, then you should be pretty aware of how the story circle generally works. And what we're going to do today is look at this format in regards to setting up a story in a TV pilot. Okay, so first on, first and foremost, you are going to have the introduction of your protagonist, and this is obvious, right? Now, keep in mind, even if you have a TV show that has multiple characters, you still have a key protagonist. So if you look at something like Breaking Bad, it's very obvious who the protagonist is, it's Walter White. If we look at something like Peaky Blinders, it is, um, Cillian Murphy's character, I forget what his name is, um, shoot. Um, and in Last Kingdom, right, it is Uhtred, um, and so on and so forth, right? So you still need, even if you have a full, you know, roster of characters here for all of these seasons, you need to focus down on the one main character that is still going to be pushing the story forward, right? And then, of course, they want something, right? And this is pretty simple, right? This is usual stuff. You you have a character, they want something. Now, when the un, now the unfamiliar situation, this is where it starts to change a little bit, or I want you to think about the difference in how you are thinking, right? So the unfamiliar situation is the beginning of a major problem, right? So essentially your, you can think about this as your series problem or you can think about this as your series um, goal, right? Or what sets up the eventual series goal. Now, what I mean by this is in a feature, right? When you have a story that's only 100 to 120 screenplay pages, the problem that you're going to have, right? And this is again, like your inciting incident, just like it would be in a feature, but the difference is gonna be that in a feature, it's gonna be able to be resolved pretty quickly. Whereas here, we want a problem or a major goal that is going to be spanning multiple seasons, right? So if we look at The Last Kingdom, that story starts out where Uhtred is a boy and essentially he loses everything. He loses his home in Bebenburg and he ends up being captured by the Danes um, and then is raised by the Danes even though he is Saxon. And so essentially it sets up this huge problem of the story which is this Saxon lord that has been raised by Danes and must deal with the conflict between the two warring peoples, right? This then sets up the multiple season show that now exists, right? Um, but you can look at this, um, a, a major series goal is you could think about um, uh, Breaking Bad, where Walter White is awakened by the fact that he knows he has cancer, right? And that he's going to die. This awakens his series goal to make money, to build, you know, eventually build his, you know, meth empire. We don't, it, it doesn't fully get there in the beginning, of course, but that is where we start. In Peaky Blinders, we have uh, Thomas Shelby. That's his name. Cillian Murphy's character is Thomas Shelby. Um, he wants to move up. He has ambition to bring his essentially gang or mob uh, up into the upper echelon to get richer, get, gain more power. And he gets an opportunity to do so in that pilot episode. And this sets us on our journey of his ambition from season to season to season, growing their family, growing their empire, and so on and so forth. Um, another way you could look about or think about this is in Narcos, where Pablo Escobar uh, now goes from a uh, essentially a lower level criminal um, to a cocaine 
and or the beginnings of his cocaine empire, right? So he moves into the cocaine trade and starts up there. And this starts the series problem for the DEA and the series goal for Pablo of increasing his empire. And then now we have multiple seasons, right? So this all, the, the groundwork for this series goal or this series problem is set up here, right? In the pilot, in the unfamiliar situation, the inciting incident of your pilot, right? So um, you wanna be thinking about it this way, is that what is the major problem or major goal that is going to be looked at from season to season to season over the course of the story? Now at four, this is gonna be essentially the first major action of your protagonist right so in thomas shelby's case he gets this he finds a shipment of guns rather than um you know just getting you know dealing with it he decides to use it as a way to increase his family's power and this is his first major action right so this is the protagonist starting to step into the new world and the new situation that they are going to be in now at five, they are going to get, right? Get what they want in some small way, right? So in the pilot episode, their first major action, they want something, they're taking their first major action to get that thing and they're gonna get it. Now, if your character um, is, you know, if you have a character that actually is going through an arc, right? What you're having here is that they may assume that this is the end, right? So with Breaking Bad, um, Walter is not trying to become a huge drug kingpin in the first pilot episode. He is just trying to make some meth because he's a chemist and he, know, he knows that he can do that very well. He's trying to make some quick cash, provide for his family and essentially call it done, right? That's what he is telling himself and that's what he thinks he wants, right? And so ideally in that pilot, it seems like, oh, this is going to be the end. Your character can essentially go home and call it done if that is what they want. Um, but there is going to be a cost, which brings us to our six. So particularly with Breaking Bad, Walter White's um, cost is the fact that now there are these drug dealers that are after him. And it's not so simple as just making some, selling some meth, making some quick cash and calling it done. He has a much bigger problem ahead of him, right? And so this much bigger problem is really what is likely to launch your story into the full series, right? So this major problem sets us up and then this is a realization. It's a problem and also a realization of... Uh, or the beginning, let's say, of a realization that, you know, may happen here, but a realization that your character has that, okay, this goal that I want or this thing that I want or this big problem that is facing me is going to be much more difficult to overcome than I initially realized. Now, at the seven, this is going to be your pilot climax, right? So whatever needs to happen for your character, not to get through the whole series, but to survive the day, right? And this is a big thing that you want to be thinking about is that the seven is the, you know, it's the return. You'll, you hear me say this a lot. It is the return. Um, and it is essentially the ending of the current conflict, right? So the immediate conflict uh, needs to be resolved, right? And that is really what I'm talking about, especially in an episodic or, or in a TV series that has episodes. Um, the seven is the ending of the immediate conflict for this episode, but obviously not for the entire series. And so think about this survive the day idea that your character needs to do what they need to do so that they can, you know, go to sleep, right? Because there should be immediate conflict that has to be handled right now and they have to handle that. And then, you know, of course, as human beings, they can take a break, right? So that's how you should see it. But then we have the eight. So the eight is likely this realization, right? The realization that the problem is way bigger or is going to take way more effort than anticipated. And usually this will have, this cost here may have some, um, you know, continued fallout. So like there are still plenty of problems as we exit the pilot episode. And this is essentially what you want to set up, right? So 
in a pilot, you want it to be its own contained story, right? I think a lot of people make the mistake that they believe that the pilot has to introduce literally every single character in their story and it has to be super cliffhangery and open all this stuff. And you don't have to make it that, what you want to do is you still want it to be its own sort of contained story. But what we're doing over here in the unfamiliar situation is setting up this major problem. And if you write your pilot right, the audience knows that this surviving the day obviously does not fully end the conflict of the entire show or the conflict of the major problem or serious problem that started over here, but they know, okay, this ended the immediate conflict and now our character is here understanding that there's so much more to handle, right? So with Walter White, for example, he handles the drug dealers that are um, you know, immediately trying to kill him and therefore survives the day. However, now he must figure out what to do with the bodies, what to do with, you know, the method he has now, all of this extra stuff that we will then go into, um, you know, for the rest of the series, right? And that ideally is how you want to end your pilot. So hopefully this makes sense. Again, not every single pilot is going to work this way, but if you have a story that is going to be um, a series where you know each episode is a, is a major change and development in the story versus something that would be more episodic, like a sitcom or something like that, um, you know this this is a good way to set it up. Now you can still have this major problem over here, right? This can still work in a more episodic series um, and, and still be useful. So for example, if we look at The Office, like you could say that the major problem is that you know Michael Scott is this crazy boss and he is running this office full of people and you know all sorts of wacky stuff is going to happen, right? Now, he's already been doing that before we meet him, but that's the idea is that he is the major problem, but then we have an episode to episode series that looks at just different shenanigans they get into. Um, you could also say something like Rick and Morty kind of works like that as well, where um, the major problem or the major development is that Rick and Morty are now hanging out together on Rick's adventures. So previous to this, it was just Rick. Now it's gonna be Rick and Morty together, setting up the entire series, introducing our major problem or major development. Um, and then we, we go from there. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, and if you are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one to fix your screenplay, um, then there is a link below this video where you can book a call and talk to me directly. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.